Hello there and welcome to another Wellness Wednesday. I have a sick kiddo at home and I have had I don't know how many parents that have been texting and calling my office this week with sick kiddos. So it is that time of year where we have the hot and the cold and everybody's sneezing and coughing and just everybody's sick. So I want to talk about some of the things you can do to prevent sickness in the first place, but also what you can do when you do get sick or your kiddo gets sick specifically to help them recover faster. So when it comes to prevention, we want to make sure that we are getting a multivitamin that has number one, good quality absorption, but also B vitamins because that's going to help our liver function and fight things off faster. We also want to make sure we're getting a good quality vitamin C. So whether that is from natural food sources or taking an additional supplement to help with vitamin C levels, those are kind of my big ones. So making sure you're getting a multivitamin. We carry a product called Daily Balance in our office. It is a multivitamin and a B complex, highly absorbable, methylated forms here in the office. So if you have a gene mutation like MTHFR, it is a great option for you to make sure you're getting the right nutrition and getting B vitamins that are absorbable for you. It also uses folate, not folic acid. So again, good source of B vitamin for those with anemia. The other product, like I said, if you're not getting vitamin C from food sources, what I usually recommend is our Active C. Um, one tablet is 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C that is a high quality absorbable form, not synthetic, not made in a lab. Um, so that is some great things that I recommend kind of prevention, making sure you're getting a multi with a B complex and a vitamin C. If you're not getting enough fruits and vegetables, I would also add on top absolute greens. One scoop of absolute greens mixed with water or into a smoothie gives you your full servings of fruits, vegetables, and probiotics to help balance and support your immune system. So that's a great option for prevention. Now, when you have a sick kiddo at home, if they struggle or if you have somebody in your family that struggles with swallowing pills, especially if they have a sore throat, there's some great things that I keep around the house. So I have what I like to call a the respiratory protocol that we do when we have sick kiddos or sick adults in our house. So we want to make sure that we are flushing out and keeping things moving from every direction. So typically I recommend a saline spray in the nose. So they do have some that are like a canned compressed air that you can squirt one in each nostril, then blow your nose really good to clean out um, the upper respiratory passages. Then I also recommend doing garlic ear oil drops. Now we carry this product in our office. Um, it's from now. It's called ear oil. So this actually has inside of it, this is a combination of olive oil, garlic oil, as well as mullion. It also has calendula as well as St. John's wort and tea tree. So it is antibiotic, antiviral, um, antifungal, and the mullion actually helps to soothe and reduce inflammation. So when you've got babies or kiddos or adults that are having ear infection pain, that's something I recommend keeping in the house. For kids, I recommend doing one to two drops in the ear, kind of massaging or pulling out on the ear to help it drain down the eustachian tube. And then I put a little piece of cotton ball or cotton pad to kind of hold it in place. Then I usually have them lay on their other side and we do the same thing on that side. So they've got saline spray washing things out. We've got an ear oil to help kind of soothe and flush out that eustachian tube. And then for the throat, there's two things I find are really good. Um, so. I usually recommend doing a warm salt water gargle. You want the water to be slightly cloudy. Basically, you take, mix it up with the warm water, have them, and a lot of times they usually have the, I do it with the kiddos, so it's a little bit easier for them to see and imitate. I take a cup of that, basically swig it back and kind of gargle, and then dump it out in the sink. And I usually sit there with them, and I'll do like half a cup for both of us where we're doing it back and forth and kind of making it silly, and we're doing it together. Um, that's really helpful. The other things that I find are really, really helpful when you do have a sick kiddo is supporting their immune system and reducing inflammation. So one other product we keep in the house is called Aller Aid. This is actually a supplement that has a couple different things in here. So it has quercetin in it, which helps as a natural anti-inflammatory. It also has NAC and bromelain as well as L-thionine and stinging nettle leaf. So it helps adrenal support. It helps to clean out the immune system. It helps to reduce inflammation and also reduce that mucus thickness. So it helps to kind of clean things out faster. Um, I usually recommend one capsule per 50 pounds. So if you have a kid that is, say, a toddler-ish that is 30 to 50 pounds, I would recommend one capsule mixed with applesauce or yogurt 
Um, usually I try to make it like just a couple bites so it's a little bit easier. It does turn bright yellow. We call it super sauce at our house. Um, if you have a baby, I would say, or a kiddo that is just starting to do some solids, um, I would say probably like half of a, like a quarter of a capsule earlier in the day and then a quarter later in the day. And for adults, do twice a day. So for babies um, that are able to swallow and eat solid foods, like you can mix it in their baby food, I would recommend probably a quarter of a capsule, so a very small amount. For kiddos that are under 30 pounds, I would say like probably from three to five, under 30 pounds, I would say probably half a capsule. And then if they're five or older or 50 pounds or so, I would say a full capsule once they reach 50 pounds twice a day. For adults, twice a day. So a quarter to half a capsule for kiddos under 50 pounds, once they reach 50 pounds, one capsule. And once they're adults or teenagers, you can kind of, it just really depends on how they are at uh, swallowing and dealing with that. I would say um, probably two twice a day to help reduce inflammation, help their body kind of fight that off. That that uh, natural anti-inflammatory breaks up mucus, helps your body bounce back faster. If you don't have Allerate at home, but you have the quercetin with the Romlin, that also works, same dosages. Um, like I said, this is kind of a blend of things, but the quercetin with Romlin is another one keep, we keep in the house as well. And I've used that everything from bronchitis to bee stings to twisted ankles, works great at reducing inflammation. The other two things that I find work really good for kiddos, I don't carry them in my office, but Sunrise has them in stock. They are liquid droppers of echinacea. They have one that actually has like an orange flavor, so it doesn't taste bad or herbally for kiddos. I usually do one dropper two to three times a day. Um, Tori's about 40 pounds, so I usually say at least twice a day for her, once they're over 50, three times a day. Um, and then also they have a product called the Immune Booster that's also a a liquid dropper. I usually recommend one dropper full of that twice a day as well. So prevention, daily balance, active C, and absolute greens if you're bad at eating your fruits and veggies. And for prevention, Allerade or quercetin if you don't have it, the ear oil, and then like I said, either warm salt water gargle or a colloidal silver spray. And then you can also do the immune booster and the echinacea liquids in a dropper. So that's what I recommend. Um, another thing you can also do is some um, massage. Um, if we have a lot of sinus congestion, you can do a massage basically kind of tapping right above the eyebrows and massaging out and then tapping right on the sides of the nose and massaging out. And then I usually recommend massaging here and on the sides of the neck and behind the ears downward. So this area here is where your sinus is drained. So if you have any tension or muscles like spasms going on there, doing some light heat um, or doing massage in that area can help remove drainage. Um, you can also do massage for the upper chest to help kind of get it out of the lungs as well. Um, sometimes if kiddos are really kind of, it's more chest type of congestion, I recommend doing heat for about 10 minutes, like with a heating pad on medium or low, um, to kind of warm them up. And then I usually do a kind of silly like Tarzan. So we actually do this. Oh, and then I have them lay on their back and I do it on their upper back to help kind of break up mucus. And then we get on all fours and try to cough up mucus if we can. So heat massage and try to cough up or get mucus out of the body. Try not to swallow it. Also, if kiddos are having trouble sleeping, I would definitely recommend that you prop them up. So you might need a couple pillows so that they're more than an incline 45 degrees. If they are breathing really heavy and you're getting that congestion, I recommend either that they lay on their side or their belly so that they're not getting that pooling in their throat and waking them up multiple times at night. So if you have sick kiddos in the house or sick adults, got some tips for you. So have a great rest of your week, and uh, hopefully everybody in your family stays healthy. But if not, now you know what to do. Have a great day.